Okay, so this is a rather cool and historic moment for the channel here, and one that makes me like Juniper Books even more than I already did. But what is going on right now is after I put out my uh, review of these latest Wheel of Time covers from Juniper, I didn't hear much, and I just assumed like, okay, yeah, that's it, done. I put out my review, they sent me the covers, the end of it. What they did as a company, and is actually really cool, is they went through the comments, they listened to me and my audience, and took your feedback, and apparently updated the covers to match what you were criticizing. That's really great. Um, I'm a big fan of this mentality of listening not only to the person they sent the covers to, but also apparently going through the comments, listening to what people have to say, and updating. That's amazing. They did not tell me uh, what this is. They haven't told me what the changes are. All they have said is, hey, we're gonna, they, they sent me the updated covers, and they'd like to know what I think now of the changes. So literally, you all, my audience, you guys, have affected change on the Wheel of Time world uh, because they've updated these. And I've asked and apparently everyone's orders will be these updated new covers after the feedback from you all. Uh, and my promo code still works, Wheel of Daniel, if you want 15% off. Go right on ahead. I can still make you use that. That makes me really happy. Wheel of Daniel, 15% off uh, these covers. So let's go ahead and see how they've updated these. This is so exciting. I'm so thrilled that this is a thing right now. I still genuinely don't know what they did, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, still got the cardboard. A uh, nice little note. Daniel, thank you and your followers for the response to our Wheel of Time set and for the feedback. We made some changes, hope you like them, stay healthy and safe. Caroline and the JB team. That is, dude, some companies are just awesome. And I, this is a great reminder that people are willing to take constructive criticism and understand it comes from like a place of love. So let's just jump on into this. Okay, um, <laughs> okay, cool. So um, I guess first thing I should do is just put them on and then go over what these changes are, right? Sure, let's do that. This is so cool. It's such a better utilization of the back than I would have done. What I would have done was just lazy. Pips is in the Juniper box. I think that's the closest thing we'll get as a seal of approval from him, because he doesn't know how to read, or amazingly what the Wheel of Time is. I've tried, but he doesn't understand. I just realized that the original covers they sent me, because they are now what's not going to be sent to people, just became a collector's item. So even though these ones have the space better utilized, the originals I have I now need to protect. It's always my fault when that doesn't line up, and I have to take a second to be like, oh, I literally didn't put it in the prefold. Why am I so bad at putting on book covers? Jackets. As I constantly have people commenting, reminding me, Daniel, it's a book jacket. It's apparently me making that noise just scared pips. Bada bum. I also never said in the last video what this obviously is. It's the dragon banner. Duh, how did I not say that? I should have said that. It's the dragon banner. So you can literally let the dragon banner fly on your bookshelves. I know some people have started putting jackets on paperbacks. I don't know how I feel about that. I've even gotten a couple of those and please dear God, don't be a bomb. And I always find that to be strange. That's how you do it and get it right every time. I've found the Juniper system with the second to last book of how you should do this and get it right in the spot every time. Let me walk you through this real quick. How'd this take me that long? Take your book, remove the existing jacket, put the book down, open the right side, get it exactly lined up where the pre-fold is, bring it up. Do the same thing on the other side, bam, you will have a perfect crease that lines exactly up with what they're doing. 
Of course what I was doing was wrong because I kept like bending. Okay, yeah, do that. Just put it, bam, bam, and it'll be exactly right. I'm a moron. Okay, so as far as I know, because I haven't seen any other changes, this should look exactly the same with the dragon banner. At least I, I hope they didn't change the dragon banner because I thought that was like perfect last time I did it. So let's take a peek see here. This is the same and I like that because this is just a big smack daddy dragon that looks phenomenal in my opinion. The changes come into play with this camera change. Irrelevant side note, if you have a cat, the Juniper box is perfect sized for the cat. Pips has pretty much been in it since I put it down. So if you want to see what Juniper has actually done here, I find this to be really smart. They have filled the backs with instead of being blank, we have excerpts from either the prophecies of the dragon, loyal, things like that, which are really great insights into what make the series special. And on top of that, New Spring has the symbol for the Aes Sedai. Another great little addition from the lore of the series. I think I said, and many people in my audience were saying, they should at least put chapter markers or something on the back, which to me would have been a bit strange to just have a chapter marker there in the black void. This to me feels more right, having these deep cut quotes that really echo from various parts of the series, the tone and world building that is occurring. Great update from Juniper there. And as of editing this video, he is finally maybe getting out of the box. He's been in there for about three hours. Nope, still, nope, just gonna sit right back down. Okay, yeah, he's staying in the box. One criticism that does still exist that some people had was that the front cover is still this repeating dragon. I am not necessarily really bothered by that. I like having the dragon from the dragon banner on the front of each book. That works for me. Um, and the biggest complaint, which was by far seen, was this more just blank, empty void, which is now resolved. And it shall come to pass in the days when the dark hunt rides, when the right hand falters and the left hand strays, that mankind shall come to the crossroads of twilight, and all that is, all that was, and all that will be shall balance on the point of a sword, while the winds of the shadow grow. From the Prophecies of the Dragon, translation believed done by Jane Charon, known as Jane Farstrider, shortly before his disappearance. So if you're one of the people who had that concern, I think it's really neat here that my audience who are diehard Wheel of Time fans just caused this change. The company listened, they went through the comment section, they listened to what I said and what you all were saying and updated. That's amazing. I am now most of the way done editing this video and he has still not left the box. It's been so many hours. The coupon code, as I said, still works. If you'd like to use it, Wheel of Daniel gives you 15% off. I don't get a kickback. I'm not paid to do these videos. I just like Juniper and what they're doing. So I wanted to let y'all know that, that you, you made this happen. <laughs> That's really cool. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace. I am just re-uploading the video with this inserted in to demonstrate. Pips has not left, aside from using his litter box and eating. He, um, he's found his new home. He's been here for about six hours straight. <laughs>